So there's a number of new calculated field functions that have been added. There's been improvements to some of the existing calculated field functions, as well as some additions of some that existed for direct query, but were not yet supported in SPICE. Uh, so first to start with the brand new functions. So variance and standard deviations are, are kind of the, the theme of these new functions. And there's lots of different iterations of them. So standard deviation, standard deviation if, which is I can do kind of conditional standard deviation uh, aggregations. Standard deviation over is a table calculation, which would be computed across many data points in my visual. And then similarly those same, uh, but using population variance for them. Uh, those same exact set of six functions will exist for variance as well. So these are available to you as just pure aggregations as well as table calculations. So the, the next function is date diff. So date diff has always existed, but the return of what a date diff function uh, gave back was always measured in days. And if you wanted to measure date diff in weeks or years, you know, you had to do a little bit of math uh, beyond that to convert it into whatever you'd like. So now you can specify exactly how you want the date diff to be measured uh, in years, quarters, you know, all the way down to second level. Uh, so it just makes uh, a lot easier and more uh, kind of powerful kind of results you can get from that. And finally, the addition of the if-else function when you're using SPICE. Uh, this has been a frequently asked for um, update to SPICE. We're very happy to have this in there for you now. Um, you could always use if-else if you were in the data prep screen, but if you were in the analysis, uh, if you're using SPICE, the if-else function wasn't available to you, but if you're using direct query, it was. So just having uh, complete parity between the functions that you find if you're using SPICE or if you're using the direct query. So extremely useful. Uh, I find myself using this if-else function basically on a daily basis pretty much. So uh, very happy that it's in there, in there in SPICE now um, and therefore all of you guys to leverage as well.